Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll look at the process of setting up category archive pages in TV Blog Extras uh, and a TV4 theme. So, currently, this is the native look and feel that is the default category layouts, and uh, we have uh, TV Blog Extras added on one of the pages here. So, this is the standard functionality of TV Blog Extras. You can create a page, add the module, and it will be displayed. The plugin, has, the plugin has its own setting to create archive pages, but we can only create one layout which should be same for all the categories. But uh, if you use DB4, you would be able to uh, set up separate layout for separate categories if you like to. And uh, this is how we do it. We uh, need to go to the DB theme builder and create all category pages module so this is how we initiate things all category pages and then uh, we create a body we could use a layout as per our requirement we can include anything on the page that we like along with one module of TV blog extras so here we go we haven't selected any layout we would have the default grid extended on the page and I'm going to save the layout now I'll come out of it and save it and if I go to the category pages now that layout will be available for me so this is how it works assuming the fact that uh, there is a user or there are some categories which you would like to have a separate layout so you could do that as well in a matter of clicks you just need to replicate this design or start from scratch and uh, Add a module here for example like this and uh, specific category pages so let's say cars would have different layout and the layout that the cars would have would be built again and it will be separate from what we just created TV blog extras and in our case we'll try to pick a design let's say classic perhaps fill with background and then save it and uh, I'm going back to the page again and saving it so specific category pages and cars will have this layout so let's go to the cars page and here is the layout for cars this is how it works. If you like to extend this layout to be used on any other page, let's say author, that could be easily done. This is the default author page. You just need to use the magical DB4 feature and make it work for your author's page. So this layout would be used on author's page as well. If you like, you can extend the layout to the tags. So this is how it can be done. Let's say all tag pages, save it. Here we go. Let's reload the page. And here it is. If you like to take a look at uh, the tags, you can come up to the tags area, tap any of these, and here is the layout. So, this is how you could easily use DB Blog Extras and DB4 together to create wonderful layouts for your categories, a separate page for each category for authors, for tags, and rule your uh, archive pages and custom post-type layouts using DB Blog Extras.